This next video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to talk about the library functions and how you can recognize them. So it's really important that you pay attention to this and you come back to these videos. I'll have a handout on the website so that you can download these, but it's really important to be able to recognize these basic functions. So here's the first four of our basic functions. A constant function is a horizontal line at C. And notice this domain is everything, but its range is only that value C and it's constant from minus infinity to infinity. It also happens to be an even function, so this is going to list all of these things that we've talked about to this point. The identity function is f of x equals x. What you plug in is what you get out. It's a line, again, like we're expecting, has a minus infinity to infinity domain, minus infinity to infinity range, and as long as it's just f of x equals x, it's got a constantly increasing. All linear functions are always increasing, decreasing, or constant. And notice that because it's just an x, it's got a, it's an odd function, symmetric about the origin. The squaring function, f of x equals x squared, has a domain from minus infinity to infinity. A range of zero to infinity, we have a hard, not only is that a relative minimum, it's an absolute minimum. It's the lowest point on the graph. It decreases from the left and it increases on the right, and it's an even function. The cubing function has a minus infinity to infinity domain because it goes all the way to the left and right. It goes all the way up and down, minus infinity to infinity on the range. It's always increasing, and it's an odd function. So these are the first four that you need to be able to look at and recognize. Here's some more. Here's an absolute value function. It's a v. Also has a minus infinity to infinity domain. A range of zero to infinity. It decreases to the zero and it increases from there and it's even. A square root function has a domain of zero to infinity, a range of zero to infinity, and it's always increasing where it exists. And it's neither even nor odd. A cube root looks similar, but it's got that other tail, and it goes over faster than it goes up or down. It has a minus infinity to infinity domain, minus infinity to infinity range, and it's always increasing from minus infinity to infinity, and it's an odd function. This is called the reciprocal function. What if I give, take whatever you give me and turn it upside down? As a fraction, take its reciprocal. Notice it's got two pieces. We'll come back and talk about why there's two pieces and how they're different later, but it looks like a piecewise function. Notice this domain includes everything but the zero, and its range includes everything but the zero, and it's decreasing all over. From left to right, it's always going down, even though this point is higher than this point, except at zero, which doesn't exist. And it's also an odd function. The last four, we have the reciprocal square, which is like the reciprocal, but instead of coming down, it's going up. It's also missing the zero from its domain, and it's everything above zero for its range. It increases up to the zero, and then it decreases down from the zero, and it's an even function. This is a rational power function. They give a particular version of it. Notice it looks like half of the parabola, but it's a little bit different. It, its domain is from zero to infinity, range is from zero to infinity. It's always increasing, and it's neither even nor odd. If we turn it upside down so the 2 is on top and the 3 is on bottom, now it behaves like a square, sort of, but it's curving out like a cube root faster than it's behaving like a square. It has an infinite minus infinity to infinity domain, 0 to infinity range. It's decreasing to the left to right, and it's increasing from the right to the left, and it's an even function. And finally, we have the greatest integer function, or the step function, which has a minus infinity to infinity domain. Its range is only the integers, it doesn't have any values in between the integers, and it's neither even nor odd. So these are the library of functions. Being able to quickly identify which one it is, and saying something about its domain and range is really, really, really important.